Welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We are here with Bryn Kuzlin and Morgan and Liliana and Alistair and Ben Tegan. And we are in Red Cliff and we are about to go to the castle and see what all this deal is going on with all these undead coming out of there every night. Yeah? Alright, so welcome to the very first video on my channel in 2022. <laughs> so, it's been quite a little while since I recorded one of these. Um, last time um, I recorded was, I don't know, three or four weeks ago, can't remember, but I had recorded a little bit of a backlog so that I could take a break over the holidays, and I'm finally out of that backlog now and recording new episodes. So it's been a little while. Um, but that did give me a chance to see your guys' comments on the last several episodes. Um, some of you have requested that I turn on subtitles. I'm sorry that I hadn't up until now. I always mean to do that when I have a role play or a let's play like this because I know some people are kind of hard of hearing and sometimes the dialogue is hard to hear anyways just because of other game sounds going on and you know, different people's voices or whatever are hard to understand. So I like to I like to have subtitles on, but I forgot. I, I apologize. And since I had a backlog saved up, and you guys were saying, turn on subtitles, please. And I was like, I will <laughs> next time I record, but there's going to be a few episodes before then. Sorry. Anyway, they are on now. Unfortunately, um, in this game, when you have subtitles on and you're not talking to somebody in a cutscene, um, the subtitles appear directly over their heads, like this. Word went out to retrieve the Arl's men even more quickly. This battle is but one victory. The battle with the Darkspawn yet remains. So that's a little bit annoying to me, but hopefully it's not annoying to you guys. If it is annoying to you, let me know. Um, especially those people who you guys who wanted the subtitles in the first place, let me know if you need this kind, because I can turn this type off. I can turn on only dialogue subtitles, so that will they will only appear in cutscenes like normal subtitles do. I can turn off these floating subtitles over people's heads if you guys think it's annoying. Anyway, some other things that I was able to do since last episode was I researched item set bonuses, because it's been sort of a topic for quite a lot of discussion in the comments of the video, plus several episodes, I wondered what the item set bonuses actually were. Now, some people um, misunderstood my remarks about it last episode or a couple episodes ago, whenever that was, um, where, I, where I remarked that, uh, wrong button, <laughs> gonna keep doing that over and over, that um, you couldn't see what the set bonus is. And they were like, well, yeah, you can. All you have to do is inspect it, and you can see the set bonus. And it says right there, when equipped in a set with studded leather armor and boots, the character gains a bonus to armor. And yes, I know that. I, I've done it a few times in this show already. So that's not what I was talking about. I know how to read this thing. I know how to go there and read it. But what I was talking about is that all it does is says, that you gain a bonus to armor. But what does that mean? It doesn't say how much of a bonus or even what the bonus is. Because there are a lot of different types of bonuses that can be applied to armor. Which one is it? How much of one is it? I don't know. And so, since I don't know, I don't know if it's worth it to have a set um, above, like, like, is this set bonus better than the individual pieces of a non-set is what I'm saying. That that was what I was frustrated about. And there's no way to tell, you know, aside from just um, equipping it, noting what your stats are, then unequipping it and noting what they are again and doing a little bit of math. But I don't want to do that in the middle of my gameplay when I'm trying to record a video. That's not convenient whatsoever. So I finally, <laughs> I finally did a little bit of research and I looked it up. And so here's what the set bonuses are for the armor pieces that I've got equipped. So studded leather, it gives a set bonus. The bonus is to armor. 
but um, the actual uh, set bonus is plus one to defense. So not the greatest it's i mean it's it's something but it's not like whoa i need to have that you know scale armor it says when you have it equipped with a set of gloves and boots and you know obviously the chess piece the character has a greater chance of deflecting missile attacks that's a little bit more specific but how much of a chance greater it doesn't say on here so scale armor you get plus four and a half missile deflection, which is better, I think, than plus one to defense. I think that's a, I think that's pretty good, especially when um, <clears throat> you're uh, sometimes like when you're being attacked by magic users, and the spells will follow you if you try to dodge it. It'll follow you, not like an arrow where you can kind of dodge them you can't dodge spells <laughs> they follow you so if you have extra missile deflection i'm assuming that includes magic maybe it only includes arrows i don't know but i'm assuming it includes any ranged weapon anyway so that's that's scale armor i think is better than the studded now the ancient elven armor this is the one that i like the best not only does it have some really great like just <laughs> um, stats in general, because when you have the entire set, each one has extra stats. Like, so these boots have plus one constitution. Um, and then when you have the, the gloves and the chest added to that, and I probably the helmet as well, you get plus two dexterity, plus four to armor, plus 4% spell resistance and plus 35% percent percent Spirit resistance, and this has always been one of my favorite armors, um, medium armors in the game. Now the set bonus for this is plus five to defense. So see, this says exactly the same thing as the studded leather. It gains, a, you gain a bonus to armor. Well, this one says you gain a bonus to defense. But how much of a bonus? It's plus five. So pretty good. Um... I do want to wear these eventually. These are medium armors and I can't, that's a medium armor and I can't, and it, plus it's tier four. I can't wear that yet because I need strength of 22, which I should be able to get, uh, you know, rogues can wear medium armor just fine. I always do when I'm a rogue. So then the chain mail, which is also medium armor and I can also use eventually. Um, let me see. Chain mail set. This one says, um, the character's spells or talents cost less to activate, but how much less? Minus two and a half percent to fatigue. That's what that is. So, not much, <laughs> but something. Heavy chain mail, which is what Stan is wearing. And I can't remember if Alistair is wearing that yet. No, he's not yet. But heavy chain mail. Another one. Spells or talents cost less to activate. And um, in this one, it's minus 3% to fatigue. So a little less, actually, than the, uh, than the other one. Um... Let's see what um, Alistair. So I've been keeping Alistair in this set all this time because I was afraid that removing it would, you know, like sort of splitting it up. Like, for instance, if I took his chest piece and gave him this chain mail instead, because I'm not sure if it's better. Can't remember. It's a little bit better than his splint mail. But what does it do? The character's spells or talents... Uh, no, wait, where is it? Character gains a bonus to armor. So let's see what the splint mail does. Plus one to armor. Plus one to armor. And the chain mail, which I do eventually want to get him in all, all the way with a full set. 
Um, let me see. This is just the medium armor chain mail. So plus uh, minus two and a half percent to fatigue. Yeah, that's what that was. So I mean, neither of neither of them are very great. Neither of them are are that awesome. I think that having minus one armor, I don't know. Like, it just feels strange. Like, he, I'm he's almost gaining one percent armor back from that, just from the armor rating itself. Not quite a full full point in armor. But then I could also put him in the heavy chainmail. Which gains him, you know, a couple points to armor. So it really doesn't, it's not, see what I mean? Keeping the set at this level, because this, this Alistair set is tier two, iron. This is not as good, even as the tier one iron heavy chainmail. Um, even with the set bonus, it's not as good. Um, armor protection armor rating wise so that's why i wanted to know what the actual numbers were because i was just kind of tired of uh, doing that you know tired of saving his original set just for that elusive unknown set bonus so now i'll be able to make a better judgment call when i'm choosing armors which one does this look like Oh, that looks a lot like mine. Only it's not mine. There we go. See? The heavy chain mail. He has more armor protection with just this one chest piece than he did with that entire set before. And it's it's not even as good. It's tier one. <laughs> it's still not even it's still better. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna give him this. Yeah, there you go. There you go, Alistair. Um, he could probably wear these ancient elven boots, too, but... I mean, I'll give them to him for now, because he can wear them. Ooh. <laughs> Those are shiny. But, eventually, I'm going to want to wear them. So, once um, I can get him some different boots. But I think... I think the ancient elven boots are better. Oh, no. Yeah, no, yeah, they are. Plus, they have plus one constitution. So they're better. They're a little bit better. There you go, Alistair. You can wear those. And... Um... Hmm. Let's... Can you wear this? Because she's got the studded leather, which, again, is not a very great armor rating it's it's just like um what is plus one to defense which i guess is nice especially for a uh a ranged character like her so i mean i could keep that on her i suppose let's see it's just that the chain mail is so much better it's a lot better i think i'll keep her on the chain mail now what is mine because I've got the splint mail, right? No, I have the scale. How does that compare to... Actually, I might wear that instead of Liliana, now that I think about it. Liliana. Um, see, I want to have the best armor, obviously. And I'll give my companions the next best. Because that's just what you do. That's what you do in the game, right? You always take the best for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who's getting into the most trouble, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking backwards. Maybe I should give them all the best because I know how to get out of trouble better than they do. <laughs> Theoretically, anyways. What was I doing? Oh, yeah. So I wanted to look at the... Where did it go? Oh, can't, I can't wear that yet. So Liliana can, but I can't. That's interesting. Huh. What is my... Oh, wrong button. What is my strength? 15. Okay. And Liliana's strength is 18. All right. I'm putting some points into strength, you guys, next time we level. That's for sure. All right, Liliana, you can wear the chainmail for now. For now. 
And how better are these boots? I'm a little better. Let's give those to you. All right. Okay, I think that that's for good for now. Sorry, you guys, that we spent a whole bunch of this episode just going over stuff like this, but I felt it was important since it's been the topic of conversation <laughs> for quite a while, and I just wanted to set everything straight once and for all. Of course, there will probably be some of you who still don't understand, but that's okay. You can ask questions in the comments down below. Okay, let's get on with this now. We are going to go uh, talk to our, uh, no, Ban Tegan. We're going to talk to Ban Tegan and be on our way. Yeah, let's do it. Odd how quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. Mm. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here in the mill, accessible only to my family. Oh. Why didn't you mention this before? I knew you would choose to enter the castle instead of staying in the village. And we needed warriors. I'm uh. sorry if I... Maker's breath. What? Oh. Tigan. Thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde. You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over. And I must return quickly. And I need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. Um <laughs> why don't uh why don't we all go to the castle? What? Uh, who is this woman, Tigan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Pardon me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. Mm -hmm. The maid responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tegan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Hmm. What about Al Eamon? Is he still alive? He is. He's being kept alive so far, thank the Maker. Kept alive? Kept alive by what? Something the mage unleashed. So far it allows Eamon, Connor, and myself to live. The others were not so fortunate. It killed so many and turned their bodies into walking nightmares. Hmm. Once it was done with the castle, it struck the village. It wants us to live, but... I do not know why. It allowed me to come for you, Tigan, because I begged, because I said Connor needed help. Okay. <clears throat> do you think this evil could be some kind of demon? I... I do not know. Oh, Maker's mercy. Could it truly be a demon? I can't let it hurt my Connor. You must come back with me, Tegan. Please. Uh, okay. Why must Tegan go alone? For Connor's sake. I promised I would return quickly and only with Tegan. Tegan, I know you could order your men to follow me when I return to the castle. I beg you not to. For Connor's sake. Why do I get the feeling you aren't telling us everything? I... I beg your pardon? That's a rather impertinent accusation. And not if it's true. An evil I cannot fathom holds my son and husband hostage. I came for help. What more do you want from me? Tegan, I do not have much time. 
What if it thinks I'm betraying it? It could kill Connor. Please come back with me. Must I beg? Oh, tell me about this mage you mentioned. He is an infiltrator, I think. Uh, one of the castle staff. We discovered he was poisoning my husband. That is why Eamon fell ill. Mm. Eamon was poisoned? He claims an agent of Terran Lugains hired him. Of course. He may be lying, however. I cannot say. Alright. Enough questions. We need to decide what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. <gasps> Thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. <gasps> Bless you. Okay. <laughs> I have a feeling this is a mistake. You're going to get yourself killed. I cannot let Isolde return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. Okay. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Hmm. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. That's quite an interesting dress she has. <laughs> Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde, and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will... Distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Okay. Um, what exactly am I supposed to do in there? I wish I knew. I don't know any more about this evil force than Isolde seems to. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. Mm. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. <laughs> I don't believe that. I will rescue you all. I promise. I mean, I'm going to try to promise. <laughs> Oh, I don't know if I should say that. Don't like promising things you can't, uh, you know, promise. You can't promise that everybody will survive. <sighs> I understand. I'll do my best. You're a good woman. The Maker smiled on me indeed when he sent you to Redcliffe. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. But I can delay no longer. Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Mm -hmm. It is dangerous, Liliana. Definitely is. All right, so we need to go inside the mill and use the ring on the door. I didn't even see the door when we were in there before. All right, you guys, let's head in, huh? So we went over and looted that chest last time we were here. Oh. It's a hidden secret passage. I see. <laughs> Not hidden very well. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. I locked myself in a cage once when I was a child. For an entire day. Ah, good times. <laughs> did you hear the growling? <laughs> I did. Okay. You locked yourself in a cage once. I think that's cool. Dead, right? Get away from me! Oh. I never liked you. Very well. As you say. These guys are loud. Hello? Oh. Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? Uh-huh. Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? Yes. I came through a secret tunnel. There's a tunnel? Then 
Why hasn't anyone in the castle used it? We could all have escaped by now. <laughs> I wondered that myself, actually. <laughs> hmm, curious. None of this makes any sense. Not that anyone cares much what I think. My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isold hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they, uh, threw me into the dungeon here. Okay. So you're the one who poisoned the Arl? I'm not proud of it. The Arlesa had no idea what I was hired to do when she took me in to tutor Connor. I... Mm. I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She... had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So, they left me to rot. Okay, why did you poison Arl Eamon? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. Mm. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malefica. Uh, of course A blood he is. mage. <laughs> you? A blood mage? Truly? I would never have guessed. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. Hmm. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible! I have to make it right somehow. I have to! Mm-hmm. So, Tern Loghain himself hired you? Yes. When the Templars caught me, they brought me to Denerim to await execution. Eventually, someone came to see me, alone. It was the Terran. I'd seen paintings of him, so I knew. I thought he'd have me executed right there. But he said I could make up for my crime. He said I would be helping the country. Hmm. But why did... Why is Arl Eamon a threat, exactly? He only said that Arl Eamon was dangerous to the nation. Why wouldn't I believe Terran Loghain? Mm-hmm. But why did the Arlesa need a mage to tutor her son? Connor had started to show... signs. Lady uh. Isold was terrified the circle of magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Uh-huh. Well, then... Perhaps her son is responsible for what happened. I thought that too. Connor has little knowledge of magic, but he may have done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. Mm-hmm. How much magic did you teach Connor? Some. But he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. Like I said, he may have torn the veil accidentally. Hmm. If he's involved in this at all, I really don't know. Okay. Well, I think I understand now. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. I say this boy could still be of use to us, but... If not, then let him go. Why keep him prisoner here? Hey, hey, let's not forget he's a blood mage. You can't just set a blood mage free. Better to slay him. <laughs> Better to punish him for his choices. Is this Alistair who speaks, or the Templar? I'd say it's common sense. We don't even know the whole story yet. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? Yes. Like yourself, you mean? Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves in the Maker's eyes. This man, no less than any. I don't know. He is a blood mage. But this is an unusual situation. Give me a chance, mm. please. Yes, Alistair. Morrigan is a blood mage too. I'm, she admitted to having practiced blood magic in the past. Um, but and yet she is with us and we're not killing her. Um, so... 
How will you make things right? I... well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. Hmm... And after that, what happens? Afterwards? I assume I'll be arrested. Or executed. Or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. Mm-hmm. Well, that is commendable, if it's true. I'm glad you think so. So what now? Okay. I'll let you out of your cell, but don't try anything. You're letting me out? And what then? Well, you'll come with me. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. <laughs> uh. Then help. Just don't make things worse. I won't, I promise. I will find a way to fix this somehow. Hmm. Okay. Alistair disapproves. Minus five. Morrigan finally approves of something that we did. So, where did he go? I thought he was going to help us. I guess not. We can't possibly have more than three in a party, right? <laughs> I guess not. All right. What's in here? Nothing. Can I open every one of these? Or is there anything in any of them? No? Why are these openable, though, then, if they don't have anything inside them? Odd. Okay, let's go. Um, no, that's the way we came in. <laughs> Get turned around. Ooh, dead bodies. A pile of filth. Let's search through it and see if there's any fun stuff inside it. A health poultice. Okay. A note. A rolled up note. Wrong button. Let's look at it. A rolled up note. I hope whoever finds this can read it. Uh, well, I am reading it. <laughs> I hate the thought that my last words might be used as kindling or maker forbid to wipe someone's bum. But that's hap that's happenstance for you, I suppose. And I, my name is Brennan. I was born in Rainosphere. I grew apples once upon a time. When the Elysians came to demand I bow to, to their emperor, I turned them away. They set fire to my orchards. To my house, too, but I didn't care. I stood and watched them burn. Trees die eventually, houses fall, but my honor can be lost only if I let it. They came back a week later and demanded that I swear an oath. This time, when I refused, they clapped me in irons. Now I'm here, and I'll die in this place. It seems a foolish thing to die for, doesn't it? I could have said a few words and rebuilt my home, gone on with my life as if nothing had changed. A hundred generations of my family have lived and died on that land, and I won't be the one to trade our family honor for apples. Whoever you are, whatever they've brought you here for, if you leave this place, I hope you'll go to Rainosphere. There's no living remnant of us left there, but you'll find my family all the same. We're stamped onto the earth. We're in the wind that rustles the trees. Tell my family how I died, and I promise you they'll hear. Brennan. Well, gee whiz. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Uh, why? I wonder why he was in this dungeon. Maybe, I guess, this castle used to belong to an Orlesian person back when the Orlesians ruled here. Oh, you're alive. Oh, are there more? Die already! There you go, thank you, Morgan. Make a preserver. 
All right, I think I think that was Morrigan healing us, healing somebody. I wasn't paying attention, but it looked like she just did a health um, spell, healing spell. A long sword, probably not as good as ours. All right, the main floor. Let's go. Ooh. This is a big empty room. Why in the world? <laughs> no decorations or anything. All right. Um, I guess we can go. Careful! I think they've seen us. Ooh, I think. Smells like. Oh, spells. Wipe them out. That one casts spells. <laughs> Missing, I'm missing. Let's make this quick. <sighs> okay. Let's go in here. Oh no. The <laughs> shades. Can I nope, you can't stun shades. Okay. Let's watch it. Let's watch out for these guys. Oh, they're not. They're not so tough. Come on, get him. Okay. Good, good. Thank you, Morgan, again. She just healed Alistair right as I was about to get him. Oh, there she goes again. Thank you, Morgan. You're finally doing it. I was about to give him a healing potion and she healed him first. There's a book on this thing here. History of the Chantry, Chapter 2. Okay, okay. So there's nothing in here. This must be their Chantry Chapel thingy. Yeah. Alright, so we, we, are, we are passing some rooms here. Oh, there we go. Oh, you just shot me through the door. That's not fair. You guys, get out here! Why are you in the other room? Ah. I don't know about you guys, but in my ear earphones right now, it, this the, with the music and the growling that they do, it's very loud in my ears. <laughs> I have a hard time hearing anything. It's over. Well, I can actually unlock the armory. <gasps> Look at all the sparkles in here. Red cliff shield. Ooh, that might be better than what Alistair's got. Except he's got the family shield, doesn't he? can't remember if I gave him the family shield or that... Oh, there's another one. Maybe it's just a generic red cliff shield. It's not better. Well, I mean, it could be still. Another long sword. Let's take a look real quick. I just want to see. I want to see... She's wearing this... He's using the shield of high ever. Yeah. Which is what I thought. Now, I was going to give him Havard's Igis because I keep forgetting. Plus 4% spell resistance and a chance to avoid missile attacks. That's pretty nice. I kind of like don't want to get rid of the Shield of High Eber, though. Hmm. And this Red Cliff Shield is not as good. Hmm. I mean, I would hope that a shield it gives you a chance to avoid missile attacks, to be honest. I mean, isn't that something that shields should just do? <laughs> That's what they're made for. Anyway, 
Um, hmm, I don't know. We are doing a lot of spells right now. Let's give him Havard's Aegis for now and see. What does that look like? Nothing special. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Did we go? We did not go in here. This is the that's the room that we were just in. Okay. Oh look, a little sitting room, a little reading. Oh a huge fireplace. Alright. Next room. These things can have unusual power. Be wary. They do. They do seem to have unusual power. Oh my goodness. I'm going to die. Wow, there's a lot of them. Oh my god. Uh, Alistair Morrigan. <laughs> Morgan can't heal him fast enough. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, Alistair's dead. Oh my gosh, there are so many of them, you guys. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's get out. Let's, let's, oh man, there's some down here too. Oh no. Oh no! I'm just about to be the only one left. Morrigan, get out of here. How how are we gonna Okay, I'm You guys, this isn't funny. It's a trap. It's a trap. I'll just go around it. Oh no. <laughs> oh no! This. It is big. Oh, I can't open that door. Um, no, this is a bad idea. Oh my gosh! I'm gonna die so bad. You guys, this is stupid. Okay, you know what? It might just be better if I. I shall. It might just be better if I die because there's no way I'm going to defeat all these guys. There's no way. <laughs> First death. First death. Well, why were there so many all at once? All right, you guys, we got to be careful how we do this. We got to be careful how we do this. <sighs> Okay. All right, let's go back. Let's go back to here. The task is finished. Get all the things that we yeah, got last time. Assuming they're even the same things anymore. And uh, I was going to give Alistair the different shield. I'm not going to. Well, actually... Hmm. I don't know. Like, I'm torn because... Because... Um... Shield of High Ever does plus four attack, but the shield, the the Havard's Aegis does, has a resistance to spells. And yeah, let's give that to because these these guys they cast spells. Here they come. Let's, let's take them. Bring them this way. Bring them this way. Bring them this way. Boys, come on. Get back here. You should try what you can. Very well. There. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. Better? Whew. All right, let's let ourselves heal up a little bit before we move on. Okay. You good, Alistair? Good. Okay. Right, the shades. I forgot about the shades. Okay. Ow. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm slowed. Alistair, help me. Oh, these guys are a little tougher this time. I'm. I don't drink a potion. Ah, that was an accident. Alistair, don't die. At your yeah, order. Yeah, don't die. I am ready. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, um, since I don't want to do all this a third time, and I have a feeling that I will if we die again, if because we're gonna be facing that big horde again, I'm gonna make a quick save right here. Just so you guys don't have to watch me play that again if we die, and also so I don't have to edit out a third attempt or whatever. There's just so many in this next room that I, if something happens, uh, you know what I mean. If it happens again, come on, come on, come on, come on. You guys, bring them this way. Bring them this way. You guys, bring them this way. Oh, don't get stuck in a spell. Come on. Oh, he's... No, don't drink a potion either! I keep pushing the wrong button! Come on, these guys are tougher! Alistair, Alistair, Alistair. You need help? You need help, dude. Uh, there you go. Man, you're tough! Here. Okay, I need to say I need to help him. He's oh, really on us down. Yes, attack, but don't die. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we're out! No! Who's using them all up? Is it me? <laughs> Come on, we have more, right? No, we don't have any more healing potions! Uh, I wonder if... Uh, what are these? These are all bombs and salves. That's not gonna help me. Hmm. Alistair... Hopefully Morrigan can save you because I can't. We can't use any of these potions for some Can't use any of those for some reason. Oh no, you don't Oh hold on, why am I playing Alistair still? Oh he is gonna so die. Morrigan, can you cast something? You cast healing on her on him? Where is it? Oh, she can't do it yet. It's still recharging. Alistair, hold on a couple more seconds, please. Hold on a couple more seconds. Oh, he's down. No, oh, no. Okay. Everybody's gonna die again. Well. At least we don't have to do the whole thing over. <laughs> right? How many potions do we have, actually? Um, where are they? 
We have two? We have only th okay. Let's make some, if we can. Yes, we can, we can make a lot. Let's make all of them. We'll make all of the poultices that we have available to us. Okay. Uh, that's better. <laughs> we only have 24. Okay, we might survive this now, you guys. We almost made it. There were only two, I think there were only two left when I died. But I couldn't heal because I was all out of potions. Okay. Here we go. No, bring, no, come this way, come this way. Bring them in here, bring them in here. Funnel them. Oh, I so missed. Okay. Okay, Alistair, I really don't want you to die. Whoops, wrong button. Oh, a wrong button again. And I really don't want you to die either. Got him. Okay. Oh, good. You healed him. Awesome. Alistair. Oops, passed you on yes. accident. There you go. Ooh, I beheaded the dude. Very well. <laughs> oh, nice. We did it. <laughs> we did it. Uh. It pays to have health potions. There's, ooh, corpse gall. That's the stuff that, yeah, we need to collect for the people who wanted to do, um, I don't know, experiments or something on them. All right, did, how many potions did we use? We didn't actually use that many. Were there less this time? <laughs> Figures. This must be where the guards sleep. Okay, what is in here? Uh oh. Yikes! Shall be done. Why are these Mabar? I'm under these Mabari are possessed. No! <laughs> oh no! They totally wow. Get up, Alistair! Get! Ah. I don't know what his spells are. Oh no, we're down to not enough people. Keep healing, keep healing. More again. On it. Keep he Good, Morgan. Keep healing. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, Morgan. <laughs> These are tough guys. Oh, Morgan, I hope you last. Oh, I missed. Off I go. On it. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. My I was not able to see the end of it. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Those were tough dogs. My gosh. Black leather collar? Hmm, we can give that to Ranger, yeah? I don't know what it does. What does a black leather collar do, if anything? It doesn't do anything. Oh, it gives armor to the dog. Well, that's cool. We'll definitely give that to Ranger. Ooh, some more caddis as well. And a gift for Ranger as well. That's cool. 
Well, we'll look at those. We'll look at those. Money? Well, sure, I'll take money. All right. Let's check to see if anybody has injuries. I know I do. I, I'm bleeding. Mm, Alistair's fine. Morgan's fine. And she's got a crushed arm. No, oh, that's horrible. Okay. Let's take some health kits. Um, yes, health kits. Or injury kits. Lesser injury kits. Because we only have one injury each. Okay. Those dogs must have been uh, possessed by demons or something, right? Or else they were just guarding their, <laughs> their castle. Um, wait a minute. Was that all that was in here? No, we're just going the wrong way. Look there, the cunning trap. Yes, that was the cunning trap that I saw before. All right, let's see. Can I just? Yeah, there we go. I wonder what the trap did. Probably blew fire out of some random place. <laughs> All right. I think that's. I'm pretty sure it's a corpse too, Alistair. Let's make this quick. Go ahead and attack them. These ones aren't as tough as the last batch. More corpse doll. That's wonderful. Good, we need more health poultices. Nature salve. I'm not quite sure what these guys do. Do they do spirit damage, don't they? Probably. Only I'm not positive about that. So these balms that we have salves this is this is uh protects you from it increases resistance to nature damage for a time but what is a warmth balm resistance to fire and that's resistance to ice well, i thought i had a spirit damage one I guess I didn't. I'm not sure if this spirit damage. That's the problem, though. You know, you have to memorize, like, what each of these has. I'm, um... I'm gonna look at the map real quick. I just want to see where I am. Um, so we came in over here. Um, we don't want to go this way yet. This goes down the way we're supposed to be heading. Yeah. I want to go that way last. These things can have unusual powers. Be wary. Try to be No, Juliana, we're not merciful to these guys. We are not. They don't deserve mercy. They deserve uh, re-death. I guess <laughs> they've already been dead. We need to re-kill them. Valena! Valena! Please! Don't hurt me! Uh, calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. I... I'm sorry. I'm so frightened. These monsters are everywhere. My... My name's Valena. The Arlesa's maid. I, is she... All right. What happened to everyone? Yes... You're the smith's daughter. You know my father. I want to go back to the village. Is there a way out of here? Yes, there's a tunnel leading out in the dungeon. But, but the monsters! No, we killed the ones that are back there. It's safe. I'll find my way. I can run fast and I know the castle. Thank you. Yeah, as long as you go out the way we told you, don't go forward. We haven't killed those ones yet. Uh, okay. All right, I think that's all. All right, this way now. These things can have unusual oh. powers. Be yes, wary. yes, yes. Fools. <laughs> Watch out! 
very well. Grunts and stuff sounds so funny. All right. Good. I'm so glad we're getting some injury kits and health potions and stuff like that. And money, too. Money's always good. All right. Main hall, um, which we probably can't go in because it's locked. I'm guessing we have to go through the end. <gasps> oh my gosh, there is so many. Let's actually, there might be more room here. I don't know, maybe there's not. Oh you guys, we gotta be careful with this lot. They're a little bit tougher. Morgan, get that healing going. Martin! Get the healing going. Actually, Liliana could stand to use some too. <laughs> Alistair, heal yourself. <laughs> he's not. He's not actually using it. Or maybe he did, and he just got hit again so fast that it didn't matter. Oh. Okay. Alistair, come on, please. Stay with me, man. Stay with me. I'm armed. Whoa, we made it. We actually did. We actually made it. Uh, no, 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 no. Loot. How much uh, do we get for this all this corpse skull? Do we get paid individually for them, or are we just gonna get paid one flat rate for each one, for all of them together? I don't know. Look at all this meat hanging up like that. It's kind of disgusting. Funny how this cooking fire right here in the kitchen isn't as even as big as the one that was out there. Hmm. What goes this way? Hmm, there's nothing in here. Except health poultices. And we used quite a few in that last bit. Because what? How many do we have now? 16. We only have 16 left. And no way to make more. We're definitely going to have to restock on our elf roots. Basement cellar. Okay. Let's go. Hmm. Excuse me, Alistair. <laughs> Okay. It is over. Frost lightning. Quartz. Pile of junk. Why do they just have piles of junk? I guess the maids never come down here. Ooh, a love letter. Well, let's check what the love letter says, huh? Is this is this it? Okay. I, I don't think no. This isn't the one. That's not the because that's the one that we found in the. Uh, right. This is the one that we found inside the. What's it called? The windmill. I, I believe. Oh, maybe it's not. Well, anyway, it's not relevant <laughs> to anything. <sighs> All right, so yes, right. We need to go out and try to open the main gate, and hopefully, we'll have some help. Hmm. Another landmark tree. Okay, there's the main gate. I don't see any dead anywhere. Entry kit. Oh, 
There they are. Oh no, oh no, is that a revenant? Please don't tell me that's a revenant. Oh, it is a revenant. Make a preserve. Liliana, what are you doing? You're... Okay, can I stun revenants? Probably not. I didn't think so, but you know, it's always... Oh my gosh, Liliana's already dead. Oh gosh, she's dead. All right, you know what, Morrigan? Um, Go. Very well. Can you? Get somewhere else? Oh no, Alistair's dead. Oh, this is bad. I am ready. This is bad, you guys. Oh, I forgot they did that. I can't heal. I'm dead. Oh no, now I'm just Morrigan. I'm gonna be. An order. Yeah, well, that's. I hate revenants. I hate them so much. I do. I hate them. They are one of the worst Task things in the game, revenants are. One of. If not the worst, well, worst just, you know, enemy that's not a dragon or <laughs> an arch demon. <laughs> but they're, uh. Can I open it? Can I open the gate without triggering the, uh, the, the guys? Probably not. I'm going to try, though. I'm going to try really hard. Careful. I can I can I just run over here really quick and let them in? You guys, get in! Yes, thank you. Please don't die. Morgan, what are you doing? All right, let's kill these little dudes first. Uh, get them out of the way. Liliana, Liliana, no, no, no. You, why are you down here? Why are you up here with the revenants? You stay down here. Well, if you can, that is. That's... All right, we're all attacking him. We're all attacking him. If I can even like get in here. We got him! <laughs> it pays to have help. <sighs> Why are you guys leaving? Don't leave. Come inside the castle with us. That's all he had on him is money? You're kidding me. That's not fair. <laughs> Lesser elixir of grounding. That's probably against lightning. Oh, that was Sir Perth. Wonderful. I'm gonna talk to him, see if I can invite him into the castle with us. Probably can't, but you never know. Sir Perth! You have opened the gates. That is good. I, yes. My men and I are eager to see our Isle again. Shall we enter the main hall together? It must be held if we are to regain control of the castle. Yes! Yes! Let's go into the hall together. Excellent. Let us go now, then, and see what awaits us there. Oh, dear. I told you you shouldn't have gone in, Tegan. So these are our visitors. The ones you told me about, Mother. Y yes Connor. And this is the one who defeated my soldiers. The mm. ones I sent to reclaim my village. Yes. And now it's staring at me. What is it, Mother? I can't see it well enough. This... 
This is a woman, Connor. Just as I am. You lie! This woman is nothing at all like you. Why, just look at her. Half your age, and pretty too. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't order her executed in a fit of jealousy. Connor, I beg you. Don't hurt anyone. Ma mother what? What's happening? Where am I? Oh, thank the Maker. Connor. Connor, can you hear me? Get away from me, fool woman. You are beginning to bore me. Maker's breath. What has happened here? Grey Warden, please don't hurt my son. He is not responsible for what he does. Yes. I have no intention of hurting him, if I can help it. I wish I could say the same! Wait! No, I don't! Connor didn't mean to do this. It was that mage, the one who poisoned Demon. He started all this. He summoned this demon. Connor was just trying to help his father. And made a deal with the demon to do so? Foolish child. Mm -hmm. It was a fair deal! Father is alive, just as I want him. Now it's my turn to sit on the throne and send out armies to conquer the world. Nobody tells me what to do anymore. Nobody tells him what to do. Nobody! <laughs> Quiet, uncle! I warned you what would happen if you kept shouting, didn't I? Yes, I did. But let's keep things civil. This woman will have the audience she seeks. Tell us, woman, what have you come here for? Hmm. <clears throat> I need to see Al Eamon. So you're a concerned well-wisher. Why didn't you say that in the first place? All this sneaking around and killing is so unnecessary. But father is so very ill. We really shouldn't disturb him. Isn't that right, mother? I... I don't think... Of course you don't! Ever since you sent the knights away, you do nothing but deprive me of my fun! Frankly, it's getting dull! I crave excitement and action! This woman spoiled my sport by saving that stupid village! And now, she'll repay me! Mm-hmm... More enemies ahead! Oh, Bantigan, really? in that direction. Sorry, Tegan. I'm sorry. Hopefully you uh, recover from that. Tegan. Yeah, good. <laughs> oh, Tegan. Are you all right? I am... Better now, I think. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. What a fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. There must be some way we can save him. Hmm. Okay. No, I'm not about to kill a child. Connor is no longer a child. He's an abomination. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll let me help. Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He was. I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Mm-hmm. Yes. I thought he'd be useful. 
seeing as he helped start this. Useful? After everything he did, he should be executed! Without him, none of this would have happened. Your secrecy made his actions possible, Isolde. But I... I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away his help. Not yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination... He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please. I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Hmm. Where is Connor now? Why did he run? I think he ran upstairs, to the family quarters. Violence scares him. I, I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room, or... Hmm. And where is our Eamon? Upstairs in his room. I think the demon has been keeping him alive. So if we destroy the demon, then... Then my husband may perish. Yes. Hmm. Jowan, what do you have to say about this? The demon in Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. A mage could confront the demon in the Fade without hurting Connor himself. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade, then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires lyrium and, and several mages, but I have... blood magic. And what difference does that make? Lyrium provides the power for the ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. Oh. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So... Someone must die? Someone must be sacrificed? Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. Yeah, <laughs> it's not an option at all. Is there no other method? The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be my blood. I will be the sacrifice. What? Isolde, are you mad? Eamon would never allow this. Either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. Indeed. It does seem like a sensible choice, with a willing participant. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It... Uh... It's up to you, my friend. You know more about such things than I do, and it's your companion going into the Fade. The decision is yours. Mm. Yeah, no. There must be another way to enter the Fade. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi, if they would even do it. Well, the Circle Tower is not far from here. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the Mage's help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. Well, I will take that chance. Very well. I will keep Jowan here as a precaution. He says he wants to help, so he will keep an eye on Connor with us. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I didn't mean to pull all my weapons on you. Uh, let me loot your your guards, though. Look at all this food just spread all over this table. So, we have to go. Um, sorry for killing everybody. Sir Perth. 
I do not like this talk of possessions and spirits and and magic. It is unnatural. It is unnatural. Very much so. Okay. These are some uh, <laughs> these are some intimidating are these just like suits of armor? These aren't actual guards standing here. Yeah. Okay. Enemy no, they are! They are guards! <laughs> oh, dear. I'm oh my gosh, why did I go in there? No, they are suits of armor! That's. <laughs> that stunned me. Can I stun him? No, 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 I can't. Okay. Oh, I'm stunned. I'm stunned. Oh no, Alistair! Alistair! No, you can stun them. Oh, that's awesome. Well, at least all of these guards, all these knights, aren't killable. Get in here! Get in here! Oh, Morrigan leveled. Alistair, get up. <laughs> oh my gosh, that startled me so much. <laughs> Suddenly they came to life. Oh my goodness, and they didn't even have any loot. Oh, that's, that's hilarious. All right, I, I wanted to loot the rest of these, these rooms. I, Be wary. Yeah. Is that all you've got? <laughs> But I forgot that I would have to fight. Who's this dude? Chamberlain! Dude, I don't want to kill you. Come on, is he just... Alistair. Don't die. Oh, Morgan. Heal. Did you... No, you're not healing him. You're healing yourself. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys. Ooh, Redcliff Vault Key. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that indeed. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. I need to end this episode, you guys. This has gone on really long. But I didn't want to stop in the middle of the action, you know? I am done. Okay. Hmm. Can I unlock this one? Good. Splint mail boots. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Well, they're probably... <laughs> they are probably not... Uh, they are probably... Yeah. They're probably not something I can wear. But I have some now. So cool. Hmm. Alright. A desk. Ooh, there we go. I was looking for that. Alistair's mother's amulet. That's one of those quest ones. Not quest ones, but um, cutscene gifts. Gifts that trigger a cutscene. Those are the ones that I want to use. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Um, we're going to go back to the camp. Not uh, here. Hold on. Which one? Which way am I going? I don't I, I don't want to go to the main floor. I went the wrong direction. We want to go out the main gate and actually go But which way is that? That's this way. Right? Yes. And then we can leave. Okay. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> so we are heading to Lake Callanhead Docks, but first we're gonna go back. Oh, these are those um, quests that we got off of the uh, Chanter's board in Redcliffe. We should do those too, but things are important. <laughs> we gotta hurry up and get to the Circle Tower before Connor takes over the world, yeah? I don't understand. Oh. You look like a woman. Um. 
What's not to understand about that? You are a Grey Warden, so it follows that you can't be a woman. Why not? Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. Hmm. Well, that's not a universal truth. Some women fight. Why would women ever wish to be men? That makes no sense. Well, I, they don't wish to be men, necessarily. They, they wish to be women who fight. Do they also wish to live on the moon? That's as attainable. I'm a woman and I'm fighting. One of those things can't be true. <laughs> a person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose, we simply are. Yes, but a person can choose what to do. Can they? We'll see. Well, he appreciated that I listened to him, I suppose. Okay. All right, you guys. This is where we're going to end today's episode back at camp. We definitely need a rest after that. Let everybody recover from their wounds and whatnot. If anybody had wounds. I think Alistair did, at least. So he can recover. And uh, we, will, um, we will come back here next time and uh, maybe have a couple conversations or something before we head off to the Circle Tower. Maybe sell a few things and stuff like that. Basically just regroup. We need to regroup after such a trying battle. That was a tough one. That was the toughest one so far. So, yeah. Anyways, you guys, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Let me know how you enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Until then, remember to play safe play nice and have fun. Bye everyone.